Welcome to a new short update in which I'm not going to make it long. I'm going to just describe what I think should be top three uh, beginners tips for you. If you start into crypto right now, but if you start into crypto anytime, I think it's essential to understand these concepts which we will be discussing in this update. Before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, make sure to check out our free trade letter and check out our free one week access we give for our premium content the link you can find in the description beneath when we start off in crypto i think you start off at social media or there's some hype of people around you that say hey you should be looking into this because hey it's going up etc most of the people start at the end of the actual run because hype is there and i think that if there is a group of people at this point starting into crypto, I think most of them have been buying into AI because they see it's the big next big thing and they jump into the bandwagon um, and then they start looking into a case where um, they think that it's actually the best entry at this point. So if you start off by crypto in the beginning, I think it's not just some easy tricks as, hey, you should be buying this or that. I think the first step in starting into crypto is to be patient which means lots of social media stuff will see you that you're going to be a millionaire within one week but i think that if you look at the stories that take place and um i think i'm i'm currently in south africa and in, in camps bay i think that lots of the stories that you see on social media about people having a massive life is that most of them is just there are like 99 stories out there that are not equal to that. So um, that's what you see here in South Africa as well. So there's a lot of uh, great life and stuff in Cairns Bay taking place, but there are also a million people at the other side of the mountain that have no access to a bank account. So with that, if you look into YouTube and you're going to be looking into altcoins, I think that's the first, first thing you'll be doing is to be to understand that you should be patient. You should be patient, which means that you should be patient in the sense that you accept to have no gains at all. So if you join the markets and for instance, you've got 100 bucks or a thousand bucks ready to invest into the markets, just accept that you will lose it, but accept that you will start on the journey. And the earlier you begin by educating yourself and evaluating what you're doing, the quicker your learning curve will start and the quicker you compound those efforts you take into the markets. Which means that at the end of the day, the quicker you are going to get to watch your, what you want, which is financial freedom or just a different life, whatever you want, as long as you don't become greedy. So be patient with that sense. Um, treat your portfolio like it is your own temple as your own body and the way you treat your family. So what I see quite often, this is correlating to the first point, is that people are usually just tempted to buy in spring into altcoins and they're just buying out of there with no real argumentation of what they're doing. If you just question yourself, hey, why am I buying this? And you can't simply get an answer of a strategy or a fundamental reason of why you're buying it is usually a recipe to just get wrecked. So I think that uh, in that sense, um, I think that this point is quite clear overall as well. The final one that I would like to discuss in this short update, and I will just dive into this more in the coming few weeks. Um, I think it's being disciplined is and be rational. I think these two are quite simple. If something is too good to be true, it often is. Um, if you see a chart that went up like 10x in a few weeks, you should understand that there is a higher risk involved in the actual asset, which means that being disciplined means that you erase context and being disciplined means that you erase emotions because then you are able to adapt to what you actually need to have which is rationality usually if you see some posts on social media regarding ai at this point or so it's because the markets have been running quite happily as well and it's hype which means that people can you make use of it or adapt or make mistakes etc in that regard, and I don't know what's happening over there, but I hope all is fine. But being disciplined is cr crucial, which means that you're reflective to yourself and say to yourself, hey, what I'm going to do right now, is that something that I really want to do? If I see a chart that went 10x, you should understand that there's more risk involved and that there's a reward. 
because the concept of risk is the most important concept you should understand. The rewards will come themselves. If you're only focused on the rewards, then the risk will take over and you will lose it all. In that way, there's a certain amount of risk that you should be getting into when you get into the marks. You understand it already. If you get into bonds, there's less risk. If you get into crypto, there's more risk. But if you get into the part of the risk and you see an asset going 10x, you probably already know that there's more downside than upside. And you can always calculate that. If you have a certain desire to get into an altcoin, park it, come back two hours late and see whether you still have these exact same thoughts at that point in time or whether you're actually looking at a case that you want to get out of the market. That's the update for today. I'll be going into this way more in the coming few weeks. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Ciao.